everyone, this is Miles from Quadcopter Land, and today we're going to be showing you how to do an update on your new Phantom 4 Pro. Now, the first thing that you want to do before you try to do any type of firmware update on a Phantom 4 is to make sure that your battery is 100% charged. Most people say, oh, it's 50% or higher, it's, it's okay. I definitely recommend that you start at 100% on your RC and on your battery. Now, to check that, all you got to do is hit the button once and you can see it's fully charged. Another way here, it's on the RC the same way. You just hit the button there and it shows that it's fully charged. I also recommend that you charge your device also at least to 100%. So when you are doing an update, if there's any interruption on the update, you can cause the Phantom to become bricked, which means you gotta send it back to the dealer, to the manufacturer to get fixed. And then that, that, as we all know, can be a pain. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert the battery into the Phantom. You hear that click, make sure you hear that. And you definitely want to take the gimbal off before you power it up. Because if you don't take off the, the uh, gimbal protector, I'm sorry, before you power it up, it's, it could cause uh, damage to the actual gimbal motors when you turn it on because it's trying to move when you power up the bird as you'll see in a minute. Let's go ahead and power up the remote. Let's go ahead and power up the Phantom. See how the camera's starting to move? All right, let's go ahead and check and see if we need a firmware update. Right here at the top, right here in the middle button, when you click that, it's going to tell you right at the top that updates are required. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. It says that there's a firmware update right at the upper left hand corner, right in here. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on firmware update. And right here it says prepare to update, use USB cable. And you definitely want to, what you want to do is you want to plug it in to the side of the bird as an instruction saver. Go ahead and take your cable that's provided in the box when you first buy the Phantom 4. Comes with these two cables here. Go ahead and plug it in right here. And plug it right here in the side of the Phantom 4. And then you hear that sound, go back to the screen. And it's going to ask you to start the update. Once you go onto the download firmware screen, you're going to see here, it's going to say remote control update required, see firmware upgrade tutorial, videos, and academy for details. And then down here it says aircraft D update, download update from DJI Go 4 homepage. So go ahead and click on this firmware download. And as you can see, it's already started downloading. And then it's going to say download finish right here. And then you want to start upgrade, so click on start upgrade and you will hear the beeping sound and you see the percentages right here. As you can see it's almost 78% and FYI at the, on your actual remote while it's updating it should be a blue LED while it's updating on the left hand side of the four white LEDs while it's updating. We're at 99%. It's almost done updating. It says remote control firmware updated. Aircraft must also be updated. So now we're going to go ahead and show you how to update the aircraft. Well, trying to do an update to the aircraft through my tablet, it looks like it was having a uh, communication issue. So I went ahead and connected to my cell phone. You still use the USB to either a cell phone or a tablet. So you want to plug in the USB di USB cable directly to your cell phone, directly to the aircraft. And you should see this update screen on the left. And there's a plus on the right hand side. You hold that down and then you should see this update screen. It's going to say start update on the bottom. But if you look at the top as well in the box, make sure you have the correct firmware update and you just hit the start button and start the update. Now during the update, you will notice where the USB is plugged into the aircraft. The, the lights down here on the uh, right above the uh, cable should be blinking red and green while it's doing the update. 
Okay, it looks like the firmware update is almost 100% complete. It's 97 right now currently. We are almost there. Now after the update is complete, there's a couple steps you need to take as well. As you can see, you heard the bird. It had shut down and now it's coming back on. Now it says upgrade upgrade is complete. Restart up aircraft. Now we're going to go into the app and make sure that it properly updated and it's saying go fly. So we're going to tap right here and we're going to check to make sure the latest firmware update has been made. If you look at right here in the middle at the top, it says latest firmware. So it looks like it's been updated correctly. Alright, we just now finished the firmware update. Now what we want to do is go ahead and shut the aircraft down, the Phantom down. Go ahead and shut the remote down. And then turn everything back on. When you turn it back on, check for the latest software update. Make sure that you go in and check all your previous settings from the IMU to your return. Make sure you check all those because sometimes when you do a firmware update, it'll wipe out your settings and you need to start all over. So make sure before you put it back in the air, you also do a compass calibration. During the, uh, the update process, I noticed that my tablet was not communicating with the actual bird like it's supposed to on the second part of the update, which was updating the aircraft. So what I did was I used my Samsung Galaxy Curve and it communicated just fine. But now one thing you will realize is even though I use the Samsung, no matter which tablet or phone you use, the update is still exactly the same. Except for some reason the tablet was not communicating with the Phantom. So I went ahead and used my Galaxy 7. And so you guys can see the rest of the presentation as far as how the update should look. I went ahead and put the tablet back on after I updated the Phantom. Thanks for watching my channel. It's been a pleasure having you guys here today on and watching on how to update this Phantom 4 Pro. If you like this channel, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you.